Hey guys, being a hobbyist photographer isn't cheap, is it? Once you've bought the camera and all the bits and pieces, the costs start adding up. And then you get into software and the cost of having some decent software to process your images with. Uh, it's a real rabbit hole you can disappear down and an expensive one at that. And so when I see some open source software coming along, I think to myself, hmm, wonder if it's any good. How does it compare to the commercial offerings? And recently I saw a new story about a bit of software called Upscale, which is an open source and completely free bit of software, which does the AI upscaling that we can buy commercially in things like Topaz Labs, Geiger Pixel. So I downloaded Upscale and I thought I'd put it to the test against Topaz Labs Geiger Pixel and see whether it's a worthy alternative. Can you skip paying the uh, 100 plus dollars for something like Geiger Pixel and use this open source and completely free software instead? So I just picked out five images at complete random from my expansive Lightroom library and I did a batch conversion on those five images in Upscale and then in Geiger Pixel. So one of the first things I noticed when I was doing the conversion was that the Upscale software was considerably slower than Geiger Pixel. I don't know if that's a huge issue really because it's the sort of thing could just, if it's a drama, just leave it running overnight or something like that or go off and make yourself a cup of coffee. So it's nice that Geiger Pixel's speedy, don't get me wrong. Uh, and I do think um, that upscale is very slow, but I don't know if it's a huge issue. And to make things as fair as possible, I turned off all the supplementary enhancements that you get in Topaz Labs, like the blur removal. So it was just in the default upscale. They both did a four times upscale on a 2000 pixel image, so we end up with a 8000 on the long edge pixel image. And I've imported them all into Lightroom and let's compare the two options. So here's my first photo, a very colorful sunset. And if we look at them zoomed out, they're kind of very similar. I can't see any huge issues, but what we'll do is we'll zoom in and compare and contrast. So let's zoom in on this mountain here. And as you can see, the Topaz Labs on the left is considerably sharper than the Upscale. Upscale's done an okay job on this build. It's a little bit blurry. You can see we've got a lot more detail retained in this. And remember, I turned off all the sharpening enhancements in Topaz Labs. So this is the default. The image does look softer over here, but I don't think it's hugely detrimental to the quality of the image. What do you think? Let's move on to another image. So the upscale image is quite a bit smoother and the edge retention is actually really good uh, in this grass here. But let's have a look at this edge of the mountain here. And I'd say actually upscale's done a marginally better job in this case for that and the buildings look very similar slightly sharper on topaz but we can definitely see that we've got some loss of definition on the edge of the mountain here would this matter if you're printing it um yeah probably would actually i think i prefer the edge definition of this let's move on to my third option okay so this is a Beach photo shooting directly into the sun. So if we look at this part of the image here, we can see we've lost all the wave detail and all we've got is these little specular highlights. So I'd say that Topaz is definitely the better option on that one without a shadow of a doubt. All right, let's get another one. So I'm definitely preferring Topaz on this one. This detail in the sand of the beach, the different bits of weed and everything, way better I think than the smoothed blurry version on the right with upscale and we've lost detail in this log here which is present here not as bad 
for upscale on this, but that smoothing artifacts that we've seen in all the other images is definitely present. All right, last one. One of my recent shots down at Bombo. Let's zoom in on these rocks. I actually prefer the way these rocks look, although we do have, we have lost detail here in this rock. It's slightly darker. Let's try another section. Let's have a look over here where the sun is. Now, I'd give that one to upscale. I think I prefer how this looks to this one. We have lost some detail. If you look in this rock here, there's some detail loss because it's smoothed it out, but it's actually working well for this photo. Let's have a look at this rock here. Yeah, it's weird. It's almost like we switched around. So we've got detail in this one that we've lost in here. So that's a quick look at upscale. What do you reckon? I think it does have some issues. There could definitely be some sharpening applied to the image, which would not be detrimental to the eventual outcome. But in the grand scheme of things, I think it did pretty well. And as I said on that last image, I actually preferred the processing that Upscale did to the Topaz Labs. Now, of course, there are all those bells and whistles, those extra features in Topaz that I could have enabled that fixed some of the problems that I had with particularly that last image. But I wanted to do a like-for-like -like example and just see how they did with this four times Upscale out of the box. And I have to say I'm pretty impressed with upscale, you know, it's, it costs nothing. Uh, and if you have a budget, you can't afford to go splurging on single use products like AI upscaling software, then it's definitely worth a look. And if you've got an image with a slightly reduced resolution that you want to get printed nice and big for your wall, I think you do pretty well with upscale actually. It's a softer image but you could combat that by printing on something like canvas where the, the weave kind of adds its own pseudo detail back in and soft images work really well when you print them on canvas. But that's not to say it's super soft. I don't want to make it sound like it's terrible at all. It's not, it's very good, but there is definite smoothness and some blurriness in the image. All right, guys, that'll do for this little look at Upscale. Are you a fan of open source software? I've tried some of it in the past myself, things like GIMP, and I uh, don't really get along with them. I find the interface is quite clunky, and certainly the interface in Upscale is nowhere near as good as Topaz, but it's completely free, and it doesn't do a terrible job. It does a really quite good job. So if you want to download it yourself, I'll stick a link down in the section below, and you can give it a go. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like in the section down below and help the YouTube algorithm send some more punters in my direction. And if you enjoyed this content and you'd like to see more like this, then please consider subscribing. All right, guys, that'll do. Till the next time, ta-ta.